Hello people, welcome back to the channel. Now it has been quite a while since we have done any sort of Power Query, DAX or data modeling challenges that we typically do on this channel. I thought it would be a good time to spin out another one during this week. I hope you're excited. I've got your good one here. Let's start. All right, people, I'm in this Excel file, which is where I've got some dummy data. Let me just take two minutes to explain you the data and then talk about the problem. Here we have simple four or five columns. We have the cost item, the value of the cost, how much money was spent, and then the cost has to be allocated to the locations that are mentioned here, the businesses that are mentioned here, and the departments that are mentioned here, right? So let's just say that we are talking about, let's say one particular row of data. So this branding expense, which was for about 1.25 million, needs to be allocated equally between all of these locations, all of these businesses, and all of these departments mentioned right here. How should the output look like? So if I just unhide a couple of rows that I have prepared right here. So you can see that uh, USA and UK have got two businesses each that makes four rows of data. So I have US uh, for both the businesses and UK also for both the businesses. And since there is just one department, we have got four rows of data. And if I were to total up this entire column, I'm gonna get 1.25 million, which is allocated equally between all of the locations, all of the businesses and all of the departments right here. So what I'm trying to achieve is this particular output, which is cost allocated between all of the locations, businesses and department. This is actually going to allow me to filter by any particular location, by any particular business or by any particular department and take a look at what has been the total money allocated to that particular department, location or the business. All right, so that's the challenge. Uh, you have to get from this data to this structure of the data using Power Query. All right, that was all about the challenge. I hope you got that one. You can download the data underneath the video description and get started with the problem. And of course, the answers need to be posted on the comment section of my blog. And just like the way that we always do it, I'm going to give a big shout out to everybody who participates and posts the right answer in the comment section of the blog. And that was all about it. Please do participate. I look forward to your entry. Just one rule, solve this using Power Query. And I will see you again very soon with the answers. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.